Hey Collective Family, Grand Risings, and welcome back to my channel, Empress Intuition 1111. I hope you guys are all doing well this morning and feeling well. Hey new subscribers and returning subscribers, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and join the part of the winning team. Okay, you guys, I was picking up on an energy of there's a lot of snakes in your grass. There's people trying to slither towards you to figure out what you got going on or how you move or how you work or how you do things. There's a very unorthodox person trying to come towards you and your rejection is going to be your protection. So if someone comes towards you that you kind of don't know or somebody from the past, reject this person because this person is trying to set you up or trying to do something strange or something that's not cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of dark wish wishes. There's a people making some dark wishes, I guess, but there's a bunch of dark witches in despair right now because you broke every hex and every curse they tried to throw at you. I'm also picking up on like a feminine that was behind the veil. She was trying to be like you or take over whatever you do, your legacy or something like that. She was trying to throw curses at you to make you feel like you couldn't do something or conquer something or get something done. There's somebody out here looking for a meal ticket and they're headed your way because whatever they did to you behind the veil is not working. So now they want to join a part of the winner team. They want to be your friend all of a sudden. They want to get to know you better. They want to like see how you move, and but it's fake. I feel like somebody wants to come towards you because whatever they did behind a veil is not working. So they feel like they have to be around you because they're not protected. Somebody needs spiritual protection to do what they're trying to do to you. And they need to be around you and get comfortable with you or get you comfortable with them so they can make this happen. They see they can't beat you, so they want to join you. And the writing is on the wall, Collective. Whatever is going on, you already know. You're very much aware of something or someone, something snakeish. There's a snake in your grass, and they're trying to slither towards you to get information, to be closer to you, to see like what you know, or if you know something that they think you don't know type energy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and hop into the energy. I'm picking up on like... Um, I was picking up on, yeah, somebody is very hell bent. They're losing money. They, they're okay. So basically somebody is losing money for trying to go up against you. Somebody is pocket watching you out here, but they're losing money while pocket watching you. They made some bad investments, but they feel like you owe them something. So they want to come towards you to pretend like they want to apologize or this could be just a new energy trying to come towards you. I feel like there's a lot of people stalking you right now, watching you pretty heavily at this time. I feel like it's a lot of people that are mad. All your haters are just watching you like, oh, nothing's working. Why is everything working out for him or her? Why is everything that we're doing backfiring? Something backfired on these people. And now they feel like they have to be around you or figure out how to get in your energy to do something. Yeah, they were trying to steal your ten of cups, your happiness. Somebody was definitely trying to steal your happiness. Yeah, somebody don't know which way to go with the with the three of wands in reverse. Okay, somebody's feeling stuck out here. They look pretty foolish. Somebody look real dumb. They're trying to paint this facade about you, but they don't know you. Okay, they tried to put up this persona. Like you're a bad person or you do bad things or you don't know who you are. This person doesn't know who they are. This person is very much lost out here. Okay, a life path number three or ten could be significant. Okay, I did talk to my archangel and Holy Spirit before I got on here, but I'm going to say it again. I do call upon all the archangels and ascended masters and Holy Spirit himself, God, to protect me while I channel the messages for the collective. Any dark magic being thrown at me or my collective, make it all fall down. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, a younger Capricorn could want to come in and try to give you something to try to make something better because they're receiving some kind of karma, okay? That's also what I'm picking up on. And their household is upside down. Something that you said or something that you did could be turning this household upside down. It can have this three of wands in reverse right now because they don't know which way to go or they might not have nowhere to go. Yeah, somebody paying attention to your work. They're watching everything you do. Three, three. You could be seeing 33 or somebody can be 33. Yeah, but the three of pentacles, somebody's working on something. I feel like they're feeling defeated because whatever they tried to steal from you is working out for you, collective 10, 10 on the timer. You're successful in a situation. Somebody's feeling 10 of swords because something they're not doing. They're not doing something right. They tried to say you wasn't doing something right, but you got the sun energy. Looks like somebody's bringing something to the light. Okay, 455 on the timer. What's the energy for the collective? 
Yeah, somebody's mad because you have a lot of strength and resilience. And they couldn't, this is Leo energy as well. Capricorn energy. Okay. Ten of Cups, water energy, air energy. Yeah, these people are receiving the tower. Like I said, they tried to do something behind the scenes. Something that you didn't know about or something they didn't think would come to the light. So now everything is coming to the light. The sun card, the tower, the 16th could be significant. Life path number eight, a life path number three. The 19th could be significant. 10, 10 on the timer could be significant. Yeah, this is an emperor, a father figure, someone that has kids or someone that's older, like an older man. Life path number four or the month of April. Yeah, somebody heartbroken because they wasn't able to do something. Okay, with the ace of wands, that's the truth. Life path number one or the month of January. Yeah, something was illuminated to this emperor, this father figure. Something was illuminated to them that you're stronger than they thought you was. They cannot take your Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something like that. A page. There's a message coming through. Somebody might want to come in and like tell you something or let you know about something. Or they watching something. Or this can also be a group of people watching, but they're stuck. Eight of Swords energy. Somebody's stuck out here. Somebody feeling stuck. They can't, they don't have no movement. And they're receiving a tower. And they're mad about your strength because you rejected something and that was your protection. So this dark witch is in despair. These warlocks, okay? These covencies, whoever this is, they was looking for a meal ticket to come your way because they see that you was very fruitful. You're very abundant. But see, God is for you, so nobody can be against you. You see what I'm saying? And they know they can't beat you. And plus, the writing is on the wall. Yeah, there could be a queen of swords involved, the air energy. There could be an air sign that's involved. They want to fight with you, but it's in reverse. They can't start chaos and conflict. Something like that. What else? Yeah. Yeah, they're mad because you still get to sit on the throne. You're still the leader out here, six of wands. You could be a life path number six or June could be significant. Yeah, the star. You could be Aquarius. Somebody's mad because you're still the star. Yeah. 725 on the timer. They're mad because they couldn't take your leadership. They couldn't take your abundance. They couldn't take your pinnacles, your happiness. They couldn't stop nothing. Your fruits of your labor are still coming in, collective. Yeah. Somebody want to leave, but they stuck. Somebody wants to leave a situation, but they can't. Okay? Yeah. Life path number six. Somebody's focused on their money. How they going to make this money back? All the money that they spent doing magic on you collective, they trying to figure out how can they make this money back. They could have like a little side hustle or something. They could sell Mary Jane or something like that. I'm also picking up on that kind of energy. Okay. Yeah, somebody want to come towards you. When this card come out, the Knight of Wands is like somebody want to travel towards you. Death. This could be because it's Scorpio season or this could be physical death. Somebody wants to come towards you and take you out. They have a vendetta against you, okay? Because you told something. You said something. Yeah, a page of cups. This could be a water sign that want to come in and tell you something. Or they feel like you should know something. Or they want to ask you some questions. The higher fit. Taurus energy. God. I feel like God is stepping in. Yeah. Okay? Don't accept the cup or don't accept whatever they're trying to tell you with the higher fit. This could be like a spiritual leader or a fake priestess or something like that. Or this could be God. Life path number five or the month of May. Two more for the collective, please. If this is resonating, go ahead and hit that like button and give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and join a part of the winning team so you never miss anything. Somebody feeling stuck right here. The hangman. They don't know which way to do. They don't know which way to go, who to talk to, okay? They're stuck, eight of swords, and they're the hang one. Somebody's feeling like stuck. They don't know how to go about a situation. They should have never went up against you. Yeah, this emperor, this father figure, somebody is heartbroken because they wasn't able to steal something. 919 on the timer. One more for the collective. Yeah, somebody going to try to be sneaky. Life path number seven or the month of July. Somebody going to be sneaky trying to sneak up on a star. Like I said, they're trying to get in your grass. They're trying to see where you live. they watching to see which direction you go in. They could be following you. Okay, let me see. What's the energy? I need to use, I think I'm going to use these. <clears throat> 
asking us, somebody out here in their feelings because something ain't work up against you. Whatever they tried to do ain't work. So now they feel in some kind of way. Silence. Yeah, continue to move in silence. Don't tell nobody what you up to, where you going. You could be 36 years old. Stay connected to nature too, okay? Stay grounded, collective. Let's clarify um, the Ten of Cups for the collective. What is the Ten of Cups, please? Okay, what's the Ten of Cups? Yeah, bats. Somebody was trying to steal your abundance, okay? The bats. There's a lot of crows out here trying to steal your shit and go up against you. Number six, June. Or somebody's birthday could be October 6th or June 10th. Take that high resume. What's the uh, three of wands in reverse for the collective? What's the three of wands? The veil. What I tell you? They was doing it. Somebody that was doing something behind the veil don't know which way to go. Because they was doing secret shit in private. Okay? Thinking nothing wasn't going to come to the light. You're the high priestess. You're the empress. That's the highest deck of the cards. You're going to know what's going on. And plus, intuitively, God is going to tell you things. He's going to give you nudges and let you know 11-11 on the timer. Okay? Yeah, potions and spells. Somebody was paying people to do magic on you, collective. They was paying people. Okay? Paying people to try to take you out. Somebody could be 28 years old as well. Yeah, grief. These people are in sorrow. This group of people sitting around chatting, they're all grieving right now because they couldn't do what they was trying to do. Somebody could be 20 years old too. Okay, take that high resonate. Silence. Huh, somebody quiet. They ain't saying shit. You need to move in silence, but somebody's defeated. Ten of swords. They not even talking. Okay, because you're the healer with the sun card. You brought some shit to the light and it's healing others. And you're healing yourself too, collective. Okay, period. Yeah. You could be 22 years old or 36. What's the strength card for the collective? Third harvest. Ain't nobody going to take nothing from you. This is your third harvest. You are in your harvest season, collective. Whatever's for you is for you. 12, 12 on a timer. Nobody can take nothing that's for you. Okay? Period. You could be seeing 838. Okay? Or 1922. Somebody could be born in 1922 as well. Like an ancestor or something like that. You can be seeing 1035. What's the tower? Clarify the tower. It's 1230. Yeah, elements. They were using elements against you. That's why they're receiving a tower. Fire magic, water magic, air magic. They were using the elements to cause you a tower, but they're receiving the tower collective. Cannot make this up. 1616. 1616 on the timer. Both these cards say 1616. Mm hmm. 1616 could be very important to something. What's the Ace of Wands? Protection. Yeah, spirit is protecting you with the number one. I cannot make this up. You are protected, collective, okay? Nothing that they do is going to work. They could be 29 or you could be 29. You could be seeing 129 or somebody's birthday could be January 29th. Take that higher resonate. Candle magic. Yeah, this dark witch was doing candle magic, but she's stuck. None of her spells are working. 1322, okay? Life path number nine or the month of September could be significant. You could be seeing 809 on the timer. What's, what's the six of wands? What's the leadership, please? 1332, ancestors. Your ancestors, I'm telling you, they came through. They made sure you stayed in the running league. They made sure nobody stole nothing from you, okay? You're still the leader. You are the high priestess out here. Life path number three or somebody's birthday could be March 6th or um, June 3rd. What's the star? Clarify Aquarius energy with the star. The owls and the frog. We got to get one, though. Thank you. Apples. Yeah, they saw that you was the apple of something. The apple of something I. Okay? They saw that you were very important. You could live in New York. They wanted to taste your, they wanted to taste the satin flames. They wanted to get a taste of your money, your abundance. They wanted to taste your destiny. 1414. Okay, you are the star. But I'm also getting this star is forbidden. Something is forbidding with the apples. It's giving me Adam and Eve. With the nakedness, you are authentic. You're walking in your truth. You are your true self. Nobody can try to put you in a box or make you feel sad or make you like be hidden or not seen. Nobody can do that to you. Okay? Nobody can hide the truth. The star shines bright, and the star will always shine. 1444. What's the death energy for the collective, please? Yeah. All house at all. Howells Eve. Huh? 
All Hallows Eve, okay? That's them ancestors on their ass. Brought that death. Life path number one. Somebody's birthday could be January 13th. Okay. Yeah, what's the four of cups? What's the four of cups for the collective? Rebirth. God is giving you a rebirth. Reciprocity. 1515. What you put out is what you get back. 1618. God is blessing you. Don't worry. You're going through a transformation and a rebirth. You could be a Scorpio. Your birthday could be April 31st as well. What's the hang one? Clarify the hang one. Graveyard. They feeling stuck because they was doing that graveyard magic on you. Okay? Somebody was mad. Or they're stuck and they're mad because that shit ain't working. They was trying to take you out. Trying to take you out so they can get something from you. Uh-huh. They're being sneaky. What's the seven of swords energy? This is the last one. Period. Reflection. Somebody got to sit back and reflect. They can also be doing mirror magic. Clean off your mirrors too. Make sure your, your windows and mirrors are clean. They could be trying to send entities to your mirrors so you can have some type of spirit in your homes trapped in your mirrors, okay? Somebody being sneaky. They might want to come over and come towards your house and try to leave something at your house or project something onto your house, okay? Be careful with like a FaceTime phone call or somebody trying to come over and hang out or somebody from the past just randomly coming to your house or somebody trying to give you a mirror, Okay, or some kind of makeup vanity. Be careful with that because somebody being sneaky. I feel like they got to do something sneaky. They could be 32 years old too. Yeah, intuition, baby. Your intuition's telling you this. You know this shit already. You're very intuitive. The high priestess, okay? The empress, you know this. Intuition, you could be 23 years old, but your third eye is open on motherfuckers. You know exactly what's going on. Your intuition never lies. All that purple around you, you're also royalty. Your ancestors hold you in um hold you in high, high like a high position. You're very high ranked. You're very rooted. You're very grounded. You might like put your feet in some grass. Okay. You might do that on the often. You might do some sun gazing and some mirror gazing and stuff like that. Okay. You might talk to your ancestors, have an altar set up, 1710, but you are very rooted and grounded.